Sometimes when we release a product with just one 2.5 gigabit interface, people ask us, but what if I'm using this one interface to already connect to my ISP, then how can I get a two gigabit connection to an end device? Well, it is a good question. And the answer is actually surprisingly simple. Here is my setup. I have two RB5009s and I don't have any SFP plus interfaces available or whatever. And I have my ISP connected to the 2.5 gigabit interface on the first router. I'll use some of the one gigabit interfaces to other devices, but I would like to have a two gigabit connection going to, to the other router which has my laptop connected to the 2.5 gigabit interface on this router. So how can I do this? Well, all I need are two one gigabit ethernet cables that I can join these routers with. I have ethernet two and three available on both of these. So I'll just plug them in those. And now I need to connect to my first router and apply the following configuration. Go to slash interface bonding, type add mode equals 802.3ad. This is also known as link aggregation control protocol or LACP. Continue the command with slaves equals ether2 and ether3 or whatever interfaces you used in your setup. And then add a name, I'll just call it bond1. And then you can add an IP address to this new bond1, just as you would to any other interface or bridge, or you can even set up a DHCP client on it if you need to. And then you just need to connect to this other router and apply basically the same configuration and make sure that this router's bond also has an IP address set. And that's all there is to it. You now have a two gigabit connection between these two routers.